So I got all those spices right on the first try, Hannah. Ooh, man. Or I am making, <laughs> gee whiz. I am making, I don't know if this is the per correct pronunciation, but garam masala. Ooh. Garam, garam masala. It's pr I probably slaughtered the pronunciation of that, but <laughs> I'm doing that because I'm going to make a curry dish. <laughs> Jeez. Do you like curry dishes, Hannah? You bet your storms I do. That's what I thought. <laughs> Good job, Bethany. Are you helping to make Obed's bed today? Great. We like to do that when we give the boy a bath, don't we? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so that everything's nice and fresh at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, you forgot a towel on the floor. His drooly towel. Okay. All right, that's a bigger load of laundry than you are. Can you manage? Yep. You got it, girl. Just don't trip. <laughs> it's a long walk to the laundry room, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, go put that down there, and then we can work on making the bed when you get back. All right. Okay? Okay. Careful. Can you see where you're going? <laughs> you look like you're playing bumper cars. I need to teach you how to put them in the machine and run the machine, don't I? His laundry is the best way to start because you're not gonna mess anything up, clothes-wise. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of hard to film you and to help you at the same time, right? Which is probably why we don't have enough YouTube videos. Yeah. Because mom has to figure out and we don't plan far enough ahead to have everything all set up. And then it's not spontaneous and real, is it? Nope. All right, and then you gotta stretch this down to the other corner, Bethany. Okay. Okay, yep. and wrap it around. Here, why don't you come and do this one first? Because mine is, oh boy, you lost your corner. That's what happens. Okay. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can help you with, <laughs> with this one. Anybody who's ever put these fitted things on a mattress knows. And this mattress has to be completely taken off the bed to do, right? Okay. Stretch it out. There you go. There you go. You got it. And wrap it around that corner. <laughs> we're losing the we're losing the mattress. <laughs> ah, okay. It's not heavy, but it's awkward. Yeah. Alright, can you go in the closet and get a fitted sheet? Oh, Cause mom needs a break. No, in Obed's closet. Oh. <laughs> Which closet were you going to? Did you just forget where it is? Go to the right. Okay. Obed's closet is on the list to redo. We took all of the shelves out, thinking that we were going to get it done right away, and it's one of those things that... Let me see. That looks like a blanket. It's the flannel sheets, Bethany, that feels like a fitted sheet, so they're like a little fatter. They're all folded up, but they're a little fatter. Nope, that's another. Here, let me help you. Do you know what the flannel sheet feels like? Here. All right, is that top one, Bethany? So we'll get we'll get Obed's closet done at some point. It's turning out that my closet is going to get done first because 
we had an insulation problem, right? And so we're just going to finish that job. I Do you know what? I almost fell on my butt backwards over this mattress. That would have been hilarious, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here, can you unfold that? Yes. We have to pick this mattress back up. Can you grab your end and we can stand it straight up against the bed first? Yes. Okay. No. Here. Oh. There you go. Oh. Perfect. It's awkward. It's extremely awkward. <laughs> but as Obed's official caregiver, you've got to learn things like this, right? So these are so hard, Bethany. You just have to find the corner. <laughs> all right, put the all right. Put that top. That's the bottom one. That's the top one. Bring it up and kind of. There's a seam there that is that is for the corner. And, and again, you're gonna wrap it around the corner. Okay. I'm so used to doing these things by myself so fast that I don't think about here. Let me help you. Okay. How I'm how I'm explaining it to you. And these sheets are very strange. Hold on. Bethany, look at where that seam is. See that seam right there? Yeah. See, look at it right here in the corner. Can you tell that there's a seam there? That's what wraps around the corner. Okay? Okay. I've got to get in there before your brother tears everything apart. <laughs> And gives himself his own bath. <laughs> Is that funny? Because he, he just might figure it out, right? Hey, if he does, that would be great. <sighs> yeah. Here, you come on down and do this end. Okay. I'm kind of holding it for you. All right. All right. All right, do the top first. And make sure it's nice and neat around that corner. Pull it nice and tight. All right. Oh, jeez. Good job. All right, now for the funny part. Okay. Now what you have to do, come here and I'll show you. This is crazy, right? You have to kind of get in the middle of this thing. Yes and sort of lift it and push. Heave ho, Bethany, heave ho! <laughs> you did it. Yay. Good job. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? Yep. You should be. <laughs> Is that crazy? Yeah. No wonder your mother gets so worn out every day, huh? Yeah. It's hard work. I'm out of breath. All right, I'm going to go give him a bath. Okay. All right, good job, Bethany, for first try. Thanks. You ready, Obed? You want to go with Bethany? You're all nice and clean again. Woohoo! Clean and fresh, bed made, yep. bath done. Now all he needs is a haircut. <laughs> okay. I'll be down in a minute. Good job, guys. All right, be careful now. You have an interesting technique there, Bethany. What are you doing? I'm I thought I heard the piano up here and I was kind of shocked. Yeah, no, I can't do anything. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go back. Did you have to dust, dust yeah, it dust off? Dust it off, right. <laughs> right, exactly. It's out of tune. Yeah, it's... Uh... <clears throat> Sweet. 
Are you trying to take lessons? Yeah, I'm trying to. Trying to. Do we need to call a piano tuner? Very much so. I almost fell over when I heard the piano playing. It's been a while. You probably want me to leave you alone now, don't you? So do you know how long it's been since we tuned our piano? Yes, it was when we first moved into this house, I'm embarrassed to say. Tuning. It was, um, it was 15 years ago. Yeah, and uh, how many times has the uh, piano been played since then? Well, you're the guy who plays the piano, right. so not too it many. In a couple of years, I mean, many years, and I don't play piano that well. I can pick out a few songs, but... You go in there with the kids every now and then and yeah, fool around on it, then. but... But it hasn't been tuned in so long, so that's kind of a bummer. And, and you it's, say it's got a string that's broken. Yes, it. it does. So Karen and I bought that piano for each other for our 10th wedding anniversary. Baby grand piano. Yes, you were going to buy me a diamond ring. Right. And you don't have a diamond ring. Um, <laughs> no, I don't. No, you don't. I used to. And we had, in our old house, we had a little... Three houses. Three houses ago. Correct. Our first house, when we moved here to Virginia, it had a nice bay window area that was in the great room, I guess you would call it. And it was... It was perfect for a baby grand piano. I just couldn't see spending all that money on myself. Like I thought if we were going to buy something nice for our 10th anniversary, yeah. that it should be something that we would all enjoy. Yeah. And so and that... We got that piano and we have a picture of Hannah. Right. I was just going to say that, that. Playing that piano right when we brought her home. The night she, she arrived. Was, when she was two years old. Yeah, so it, it calmed her down. Now. Yeah. So that was 24 years ago. So we've had the piano 24 years, and which makes sense because we're coming up on our 34th wedding. 35th. 35th. 35 35 years, years coming up. Oh my gosh. Oh my storms. So I thought that we would get the piano tuned because it should be tuned. <laughs> well, yeah. And now that we've we've had a lot of uh, air conditioning con that too. issues, so that mm -hmm. room where that, our piano is in now, which we call it our sunroom, but that room has had a um, had an air conditioning unit. That part of the house we don't use very often, right? And it sat without an air conditioner for several years. Right like eight years yeah because it was the last one that we replaced right. and because we didn't use that part of the house we didn't, didn't worry about it too much and we weren't trying to keep the piano tuned or anything so uh, now we have replaced that HVAC unit as uh -huh. of a year ago yeah that makes sense then I didn't even think about so that now the humidity in fact we had humidity problems in that room uh, partly because of that Boy, air did we ever. issue. Yeah. And so now that that issue is resolved and insulation is resolved and window leakage is resolved, then now, well, we, we, hope. Can, uh, <laughs> now we can get that piano tuned again. But I'd yeah. like to learn a few songs, and Hannah's now singing again. Yeah. So I'd really like to be able to accompany her on a couple of songs, maybe this year. Well, if she's interested in singing a couple of songs, so... I'm not very good at the piano, but I think I can accompany I don't think it matters. a beautiful singer, somebody who sings really well. Right. Like I don't Hannah. think it. I don't think it matters. And then um, we'll give it a try. So maybe that'll be one of our goals for this year is to get a song out that I can play the piano behind Hannah playing a cover or something. We'll see. If you post this in a video, they're going to drive you crazy until you do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> So uh, that's the motivation I need, right? All right. Well, there to you go. start practicing and do a little bit with that. So I'll Okay. We'll work on that. Okay. 
Abby, are you emptying the trash? Yeah. All by yourself without even being asked? Good job. Did you put another bag in there? No, not yet. Oh, are you going to? Good job, girl. It was full, so I'm glad you emptied it. You can put it in the kitchen can. That's fine. All right. Wow, I'm impressed. So I got all those spices right on the first try, Hannah. Ooh, man. Or I am making a <laughs> gee whiz. <laughs> I am making, I don't know if this is the per correct pronunciation, but garam masala. Ooh. Garam, garam masala. It's pro I probably slaughtered the pronunciation of that. But <laughs> I'm doing that because I'm going to make a curry dish. Jeez. <laughs> Do you like curry dishes, Hannah? You bet your storms I do. That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, well, we'll we'll do that later on. So you can, um, if you buy that spice, like in the, um, yeah. you'd have to go to a specialty market to get it. It's not cheap, oh. but you usually have all of the basic ingredients on hand. Whoa. And so I'm just going to mix up. I have all the ingredients that are in it, so I'm just going to make my own. Cool. Cool. All righty then. Yeah. And, of course, we'll have to... You know, put that recipe in our description, won't we? Yep. Alrighty then. Hannah. Yes. There is the garam masala right there. Those are all the ingredients. Oh, wow. Do you want to smell it sure. and see how good it smells? Oh, yeah. What it is, mm -hmm. it is one tablespoon of ground cumin, Ooh. one and a half teaspoons of ground cardamom, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Ooh. One and a half teaspoons of ground nutmeg. One and a half teaspoons of ground coriander. Oh. One and a half teaspoons of ground black pepper. <laughs> and one half teaspoon of ground cloves. Oh, man. And then you mix it all up and you have garum masala. Oh, my storms. It's better to buy whole... Um, spices and grind them up and all that mm -hmm. but your dried spices work just as well and things that are unusual like the cardamom if you don't have that in your pantry mm -hmm. that's more easily attainable than the garam masala is so oh, wow. you know this is just easier and um probably less expensive <laughs> if the truth were known <laughs> so go ahead and take a whiff hand and tell me what you think okay i'm gonna look here it goes thing up to all right we're gonna mix it all up when we're done but Oh, my storms! What does that smell like to you? Uh, it smells like the goodness of... of, of mom's... culinary orchestras. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> it is delightful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, it, gosh, it smells so good. We love curry around here, curry dishes. And oh, man, who doesn't? We like strong flavors, don't we, Hannah? Yeah, we do. Like, pretty much our whole family does. Very, We like a lot of flavor and... Yeah. Strong. So oh, yeah. there it is. I'm going to mix it all up and then we'll have it. All right. And we'll make our, our dish later. Yay. So I better correct myself on the nutmeg. I said one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg and it's only one half. I don't really think it would make all that much of a difference, especially if you're like me and you're a nutmeg lover. But, um, <laughs> is that funny? Huh? Yeah. So, but I wanted to correct myself. It's only one half teaspoon of nutmeg. The other measurements and ingredients are correct. So let me know what you guys think and if you, if you think that you might use this recipe. Yes? You could have just said, a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and then I could cut it into the audio because if you just say half teaspoon of nutmeg you're you're not even showing your face so I'm um, you're just showing you don't want me bowl. to show my face no I'm just saying you're showing your bowl <laughs> right? I really shouldn't and show my audio. face when I'm when I'm looking like I do today and the but... audio <laughs> I can put that right over the top of the audio that was already there, the mistake that you made with the one and a half teaspoon. Okay, well, nutmeg. I'm not a professional vlogger. So all you have to do is say half teaspoon of nutmeg, 
and then I'll replace what you put earlier, which was the incorrect, and then I'll just splice in that half teaspoon of nutmeg. You think people will figure out that you made a mistake and it's only a half a teaspoon of nutmeg? Well, we're kind of making a whole video on the nutmeg debacle, so, you know, I'm not a professional vlogger. Okay, well, hopefully I, it'll taste good. You know, it will taste good. It's just hopefully the other people who follow my recipe that wasn't correct will still taste good. I don't think it really makes that much of a difference, but okay. okay. We'll Thanks for the correction. I'll, I stand corrected on nutmeg and vlogging. <laughs> so what do you have in there, Hannah? This mm, uh, garam mosh... Garam masala. <laughs> well, that's not what the dish is called. What is the dish called? Oh, uh, chickpea, chickpea curry. Chickpea curry. Yeah. And it is delicious. Oh, yeah. Fast and delicious. We'll link that recipe in the description. What do you think, Bethany? It's good. Is it good? You like it, all bad? Sip it up, all bad. And Dad's having... Chicken. Leftover chicken. <laughs> this is not his thing. <laughs> and you didn't have enough. I was short one bowl of rice, yeah. but so dad was gracious enough to say, no, you can have it. As a good dad should be. Yum, yum. Uh, yeah. Are you okay, puppy? Are you trying to get Bo's smells all over you? Are you okay? You miss your Bobo? We'll see him soon. Are you lonely without Bo? But you still have us. Excuse me? But mommy, Bo's gone. I have to sit on the sofa now. Bo's not here. You need to let me. Right, Arnie? Are you a spoiled puppy? My two-year-old puppy? I guess because you're two, you think you can sit on the sofa now. Is that how this is going to go? Mister? I don't care. I don't care if he sits on the sofa. I really don't care. He's my boy. Every change has a reason.